Topping our newscast this evening, for many people, searching for a home online is the most convenient, especially if you're an out-of-towner. But as MTN's Caitlin Corbett tells us, renters should beware. And we're like, oh yes, my God, finally something cheaper than, you know, $1,500. And then, of course, it was cheaper because it's a scam. So. Finding a place to call home isn't easy. With so many online sites offering rentals in a high demand market like the Gallatin County, it can be pretty challenging. Just ask Vince and Michelle, a couple from Tempe, Arizona. They were almost the victims of an online scam during their search for a rental in Bozeman. After the supposed owner of the rental requested a cashier's check and promised that the keys to the rental would be mailed to them, Vince and Michelle became suspicious. Um, yeah, so we were, we were questioning the, you know, the validity of this uh, person, and so we typed in the address trying to find out uh, who owned it and if it was the, the person whose name was on the email. Uh, and then we actually found that the... Um, the house was for sale and uh, that it had the exact same pictures as the Craigslist ad. So obviously you can't be renting something if you know, it's for sale. It's something that the authorities keep a close eye on during a busy rental season. June, July are definitely big months for people trying to rent their places out. Um, so a lot of times what we're seeing now is that there are people that are using that to victimize people looking for rentals. As you're scrolling through the hundreds of rental listings found online, there will be some scams sprinkled in every here and there. You just have to know how to spot them. If you've looked around in Bozeman enough, most of the time you know about what the price point is. Um, you'll, a lot of these scams will have a much cheaper um, rental because that draws people's attention right away. Um, definitely use that as a red flag and don't send anybody any money until you physically went somewhere to view the property with somebody. Sergeant Munter's other advice is to never give any bank account or payment information over the internet. And if there's an excessive pressure to make a deal, it's probably a scam. Vince and Michelle hope that by telling their story, they can help others from falling victim to online thieves. It's, it's a scam that uh, you know, people can easily get sucked into. You kind of just want to warn people, um, or at least get, get it out there that you know, this is a very easy way to get scammed. In Bozeman, Caitlin Corbett, MTN News. A scary situation in Montana State.